And we're back after eating some scrum diddly umptious pizza. Some Papa Yans. Some Papa Yans. This is part two of Helen's playthrough, and we are entering the first world. And what is this called? There are fishies on the door. It's called There Are Fishies on the Door. That's a weird name, but we'll roll with it. No, it's not. It's called The Dream of Owen. Does it's it say dream. Owen? Ocean. Oh, it's just, it looks like Owen. It, yeah, it does look like Owen. Aqua <laughs> Garden. I wonder what the theme could be. There are fishies on the door. It's Dory. Happy are we going to be finding Nemo here? Uh... <laughs> is that... I don't know. Whoa! They look stoned. By the idiot! <laughs> By the idiot! They look stoned. They are stoned. We are stoned! Are they horses? Nightmarins? Nightmare. <coughs> I don't know, maybe. Maybe they're related to the horses, who knows? <coughs> How did knights get in there? Oh, uh, this is Chase the Flickies. Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. This is pretty much Octopod, but with birds. Yeah. Why are you clutching your hand? No. Okay. That's racist. <laughs> what? Is that a red idiot? <laughs> That's racist. Oh wow. Wow. I wonder I how much gel she puts in her hair. Like for it to stick out that much even after she puts it in a ponytail. I don't know. Or maybe it's hairspray. So anyway, we are now in the gameplay. Now for these missions, you have to fly through rings just like in the tutorial and you have to capture one of the birds to get a key it hatched you can if you want walk around in in the in the zone area i mean it is what is your name loud rio now <laughs> rio now maybe it's portuguese maybe it's brazilian i don't know but anyway Bye. you can actually go and walk around and explore the world but you also have a timer on the bottom right. If that timer is red, in other words, it makes one revolution, these pillow marshmallow people will come out and try to attack you. To wake you up. To wake you up. Yes, you're still asleep during all this. Helen is still in the middle of the streets of downtown London, conked out with like her ice cream melting all over her face. Didn't she and... drop it on the sidewalk next to her? Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe. I don't know. What? That looks like a face. Do you what? see it? In the water? Uh, <coughs> no. The, 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 like, right here. Oh, you're talking yeah. about the blue sphere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it yeah, looks yeah, like yeah, the yeah, eyes. Yeah, 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 I see. And okay. look, there's fishes flying in the air. Shouldn't they be in the water? Does or that mean we'll find birds in the water? Birds in the sticks? Where am I? But anyway, let's get on with it. You touch the gate, <laughs> you dualize, and you're out of the gate. Now, here's nice logic for you. You walk inside the gate because you have the red idiot. You touch knights to dualize, and you escape the cage. But, but you now still need the key. You still need the key to open the cage that you just escaped from. Why? I don't know, but... It's nights! Oh, I missed. That's alright, you can go another round. Actually, you know, your your score is based, I mean, it is time-based, but you'll get most of your points with, you know, links. When I mean link, I mean like linking the, the circles, flying through the circles, and getting the little blue spheres and whatnot. Although doing it in record time would help. And you got the key, so all you gotta do is go back to the cage and touch it. That is, if you're into that sort of thing. And you unlock yourself again. Yeah! And you're not done yet, dude. 
<laughs> you still got to do two more. Uh, you have to do this three times, each time getting harder than the one before. I, I don't understand how Knights is locked in three different cages at once, though. Like, how does that even... I don't know. I mean... I'm not even going to try to make sense out of it. I'd rather marvel at the scenery here. I mean, seriously, look at it. It's, it, it, it's a gorgeous looking game. And it's fun. It's... It's fun? No, it, it's fun looking. It's fun to look at. Like... If I took a vacation and I had a choice between like Greece and this place, this place, I choose Greece. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I would choose this place. I mean, look at it. It's, it is a. What was that? Were you in the sky? Yeah. For a while. And it was water. Yeah. That's pretty weird. And awesome. Where is it? The bird. Yeah, I see. Oh, it. it's right there. The flicky. The the bird. You can see the butt. The bird butt. Oh, wait, no, no. Ah! No! Ah! What, what, what are you I, trying to do? I'm trying to get through there. Hold on. Yeah, yeah get through it. I can't! Forgive me. And my incom- Ah! There you go. Now, just like the original knife. I totally just- I'm gonna go- Can I go back? No, I can't. Huh? You can. No, but the water- I already went through the water oh, too. Oh, okay. Today. Now, much like the original Knights, I think, you have to get a certain score in order to unlock the best ending. In this game, you must get a C or higher in order to unlock the true final boss. Spoilers, they're all the same. But at least you get the better ending. And, you know. But you gotta get a C in every single sort of act or mission, whatever you want to call it. Um, oh. Some levels are a bigger pain than others. These <laughs> levels here, typically, they're not too bad. We'll see a level in a minute here where all you do is try to go through rings at, at the same time without breaking um, the link. Those are probably the harder ones, but, you know. Get up, Bambi. Where am I going? Oh. Now, Grove got a D in this one, so if she wants to get a C for the act, she'll have to get a B. And what it does is it takes those three letters and averages them. So. That's not gonna happen. Well, it might. You never know. I know. Now, here we get a perspective change. Ooh. I'm not really sure how this We're works. flying from behind, so we're looking at knights from behind. Well, from the feet, because they're yeah. so freaking big. <laughs> from the feet, yeah. And this is kind of fun. I actually I actually think I, I like this perspective a little better than the, than the standard one, where we're kind of like at an angle, whatever. It's kind of weird. Getting used to the, to the perspective in this game and the control itself will take some time. But once you get a hang of it, it is a pretty fun game to play. You know, getting combos and links and trying to find out cool ways to get through the level and stuff. It, it, it really is a fun game. And oh! That's why I like it. I mean, apart from the visuals and the and the soundtrack, which are fan fantastic. If I get a B... Ah! Oh, dag nabbit. Wait, you might still get a C, because you got two C's and one B. So, I don't know. No, I don't think so. Come on. Nope. C... Oh. Yes. Wow. All right, cool. So at the end of every first playthrough of this, you fight a boss. Oh, I forgot. Crap. Oh, I totally don't remember how to beat this guy. <laughs> um, I think you have to touch it on the head. You have to boop it <coughs> on the head. Use Paraloop to suck pieces of Garanya's giant body. Oh, you pizza. got eaten by the fish. But it'll spit you out. <laughs> You're right. So yeah, what you gotta do is you gotta touch it on the jewel that's on its forehead. The the trick with this one is it's kind of hard to see when it's gonna jump up, and sometimes you'll miss it. But yeah, once you get it, you just paraloop the crap out of it. Try to get as much balloons as you can. You don't need to get them all, but you know, just 
just enough. I'd say that was pretty good. Yeah, you got like half of it. So if you do that again, you'll be done. One thing I will say is that the bosses in this game are very unique, much like in the first game. They're they're all different. It's not, you know, the same thing, you know. It's not like in Sonic where you have to get robotic eight times or or like in the original Super Mario Brothers where you have to get away from Bowser and grab the axe. It's it's actually very creatively done. Every boss battle is different. And I like that about this. Ah, oh, you're so down. Some of them are a pain in the butt though. Like this one oh. This one can be a pain in the butt, especially after you get it the first time, because then the fish will start doing some weird patterns and trying to get it, trying to aim knights right at the forehead can be hard. Ah, oh, like that? Yeah, because sometimes it'll go up high like that, and sometimes it'll be low, and you just never know. I wouldn't call this boss a crapshoot, but, you know. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There you go. Grab those balloons and you're done. And that should do it. Oh! Oh! Well done. Well done! On the first try, I had a minute. Or something. I think it took you a minute. A minute exactly. Yeah. Oh, wow. Wow! Oh. So we got a D for That's this. It's a new record! <laughs> so we got a D for this particular <laughs> mission. Yeah. Um, but that's okay. So let's do the next one. Forgive me as I am sick with disease. Helen's diary has been added to the story select screen. True. That basically means that Helen's diary, we can go and see scores and, and records for levels that we've done. What is this? It's a baby. Helen, Helen had, had a, a baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get a freaky! Helen had a baby. What? She's like 10. How? I think there's the youngest birth. The, the youngest person that ever gave birth was three. Five. I read that article. It was actually five. Was it five? Yeah. yeah. Some girl in like Columbia or something. That sucks. <laughs> Idiot. Look at my frilly shirt. Look at her fingertips. They're like pencils. I have I can't see them. Oh well, up close. Oh. <laughs> I just see her, you know, up against this old school pencil sharpener where you have to turn the handle. She's just like, la 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 la. Blood's like gushing out, and she's just, yeah. Yeah, and at the end she turns to you, smiles, and says, manicure! <laughs> oh man. The other idiot! Actually, it's in Night's Closet. <laughs> Whoa, Al, personal space. Seriously, dude. What is he looking at? Just beyond her face. Maybe he's blind. Maybe he's a bat. <laughs> so he's part owl, part bear, and part bat. Part bat. Wow. Bull crap. He doesn't do crap. I'll keep an eye on you. He sure does that. It, yeah, seriously. He keeps two eyes. <laughs> on the tree. In the background. Alright, so when we come back, we will do the other missions. Yep. For Helen. Yep. See ya! Bye!